Unit 1, Lesson 10, Bases and Heights of Triangles. Number 1. For each triangle, a base is labeled B. Draw a line segment that shows its corresponding height. Use an index card to help you draw a straight line. Labeled H is the corresponding height at a 90 degree angle compared to the base, B. For the second triangle, here you can see the corresponding height at a 90 degree angle to the base B. And here for the third triangle, you can see H, the height, that corresponds at a 90 degree angle to the base B. Number two, select all triangles that have an area of eight square units. Explain how you know. Triangle A has a base of 4 units and a height of 4 units. Triangle B has a base of 4 units and a height of 4 units. Triangle C has a base of 3 units and a height of 4 units. Triangle D has a base of 4 units and a height of 4 units. And Triangle E has a base of 8 units and a height of 2 units. The formula for finding the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2 or half of the base times height. So in this case, in triangle A, it's 4 times 4 divided by 2, or 16 divided by 2. Triangle A has an area of 8 square units. Triangle B also has an area of 8 square units. Triangle C has an area of 6 square units. Triangle D has an area of 8 square units. And Triangle E has an area of 8 square units. Triangles A, B, D, and E all have an area of 8 square units. Number 3. Find the area of the triangle. Show your reasoning. If you get stuck, carefully consider which side of the triangle to use as the base. I've used the vertical line on the left side as the base, which is 6 units long. I've used this line at a 90 degree angle compared to the base as the height, which is 4 units long. 6 times 4 is 24, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. The area is 12 square units. Number 4. Can side D be the base for this triangle? If so, which length would be the corresponding height? If not, explain why not. Using side D as the base, I could use G to represent the height because G is at a 90 degree angle compared to side D. Yes, side D could be the base with G as the height. Number 5. Find the area of this shape. Show your reasoning. I'm going to decompose this shape, and here you can see a rectangle that measures 1 by 6, and 1 times 6 is 6 square units. Highlighted in blue, you can see two triangles with a base of 4 and a height of 2. Together, these two triangles have an area of 8 square units. Highlighted in green, you can see two triangles that have a base of 2 and a height of 2. Together, these two smaller triangles have an area of 4 square units. If you add up the area of all these shapes that I decomposed, you get 18 square units. The total area of this shape is 18 square units. Number 6. On the grid, sketch two different parallelograms that have equal area. Label a base and height of each and explain how you know the areas are the same. I kept it simple. I made one square with a base of 4 and a height of 4, and 4 times 4 equals 16 square units. The second parallelogram is a rectangle with a base of 8 and a height of 2, 
and 8 times 2 is 16 square units.